Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, ich rufe auf zu WBC Latino Championship im Well, here we go. We've got another heavyweight competition here for you, and this is for the WBC Latino Championship. And it's between Julius Long from Detroit in the USA against Orlani Solis. The Towering Inferno, and dieser Name, das kann ich Ihnen versprechen, ist Programm aus den USA. Herzlich willkommen hier in Halle, Julius Long. I, I have a feeling that he will possibly step over the ropes rather than uh, through the ropes. <laughs> this guy is uh, coming in at seven foot one. So an, an amazing height for a heavyweight fighter. It really is. Even uh, at this day and age. Absolutely. Well, I'd have thought him against Valuev might have been uh, a future possibility. If we lay those two nose to tail, they, I think they'd cover the ring, wouldn't they? <laughs> now, this was a bit of competition oh, for the... Uh, and exactly what you said, he over the top of the top. Now, he fought Audley Harrison from the UK, and as we know, Audley's uh, career has been a... Uh, a little bit unusual, to say the most. Um, the Harrison did actually knock this guy out. He really, yeah. But as you know, with heavyweights, you can never tell. Styles clash. And that's what makes them so exciting. Well, listen, this guy coming in now, Solis. Watch his last fight. I've got to tell you, I was very, very impressed. He's only six foot tall, so you know, we're talking about... Uh, 11 inches difference. Yeah, well, 13 inch do. He's 7 foot 1, this other guy, isn't he? So, Beg your pardon. Yeah, so I'm really interested to see how he deals with Julius Long. I really am. Because I do rate this guy. Why are all the seconds out of yours from America going to get behind their man here? Der Olympiasieger von 2004. Hier ist der Kämpfer von Arena Box Promotion. Hier ist Otlanje Solis. Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, ich darf Ihnen der Kämpfer, den Kämpfer in der roten Ecke vorstellen. Julius Long ist 30 Jahre alt. Bei einer Größe von 2,16 Meter bringt er 116,4 Kilogramm auf die Waage. Seine bisherige Bilanz als ja, Julius Long ist 30 Jahre alt. 23 Fights. 13 davon durch K.O. 15 Wins und 13 USA. Stoppages within that. Unser Gast, An Julius Long. But I have a sneaky suspicion he might have his hands full here tonight. Der Kämpfer in der blauen Ecke. Er holte sich den Weltmeistertitel bei den Amateuren in den Jahren 2001, 2003 und 2005. 2004 gewann er die olympische Goldmedaille in Athen. Seine bisherige Bilanz als Profi Die kann sich sehen lassen. Fünf Kämpfe, so fünf Siege, vier durch K.O. Von Arena Box Promotion, hier ist Otlanje Solis. I'm beaten in those five fights. But I'm sure originating from Cuba, a somewhat uh, prolific amateur record. So here we go, this is a WBC Latino Championship over 10 rounds. Julius Long from Detroit, USA against Orlandia Solis, now fighting out of Hamburg in Germany. And you're live with us here at Second Zat. This is where we're going to see the difference between the two men as they enter the centre. And look at that, okay. David and Goliath. Okay, correct, correct, okay, please. Julius Long must always intimidate his fighters with their hype standing over him before the fight. But as soon as that bell goes... I've just got a feeling Solis might not be intimidated. As I said, I've watched his boxing and I do rate this guy. Straight away, Long goes to work with the long jab. Break! 
Yeah, anyone's going to find this difficult up against someone at this height, but let's see what he can do, Solis. And of course, let's see what Julius Long can do. Well, that was a nice kidney punch right in front of the referee. Didn't get many brownie points with that. No. Back. And all that stun inspired Solis up. So maybe not a good idea. I'd like to see Solis um, move his head a little bit oh, more. Was a good he's very there from yeah, Solis, very really. I don't good. know if you saw that. Good left uppercut came in. From Long, that was it. I beg your pardon, yeah. yeah. Solis uh, certainly needs to get some movement going. He's, he's very stagnant at the moment and walking in. And uh, um, I'll tell you, this, this uh, Judy Long he, he, he's no mug. He knows what you know. He's, br he's bringing some really heavy uppercuts up and through the middle. I'm surprised at the array of punches I've seen from uh, Julius Long. And I've he's already cut, he's, he's cutting badly. It's quite a bad cut on Solis. And I, to me, he's only got himself to blame. There's hardly any head movement at all in his early first round. Well, I think Solis is going to be disappointed if this is stopped. He really is. A lot expected from this guy. You may see Solis go up again now and throw him from all angles to try and get the job done. The head? I doubt if there was a clash of heads. I can't see that happening, can you? Not unless he fell to his knees. Close look at that cut yet, Rick, but it's above the right eye. Not a good place, as we know. Well, no cut's a good cut. I'm not sure if it's at the corner of the, the eye, Paul, but it's certainly streaming with blood. It is. There's a, there's a big flow of blood. Which is not a good sign. This has got a spur on long. I will so though, say, though, it makes for an exciting round. Good first round heavyweight fight. Long wasting time complaining to the referee. He needs to get on with the job. He's even with a chance here. Well, he's standing very square to him, is Long, and he should be turning yeah. that left shoulder and maximising that reach. I mean, he's now got a bad cut above his opponent's eye. Why is he working on that eye? All he needs is the jab. Exactly. Back! He's breathing heavy, Long. He's breathing heavy and looking to tie his man up rather than keeping Solis on the end of that solid jab. I mean, Solis can't get near him with that jab. Push it out. That's the end of the first round. Who do you want to give that to, Rick? Um, well, it's funny. It's quite a close one, but for me, um, Long had all the early action, but then since, since the cut, it's, it's been Solis who's been coming in all the way and, and frying him from all angles. And Long's just looking to tie him up. When he does go to work, Long, he's got some, he's got some really good shots in, in his armory. Okay. Unusual to see an uppercut coming from someone of that height. I've yeah. got to tell you. Well, this is interesting because I'm sure great things are expected of Solis. Now he's got a serious cut here. He's got to go to work. This, uh, to get through ten rounds with a with a cut like that, who knows? And Solis comes out again, yet again, not, no head movement. He needs to get that head rolling and being, being such a small heavyweight as well in, in these days, he needs to get that head moving a little bit better there, but it needs to be constantly on the move. This is better work from, this is better work from Long. I'm sure he's been motivated by that cut. He fancies his chances. It's amazing what the sight of blood can do. You know, I'm going to give that last round even, Rick. I don't know what you think. 
I think um, Solis nicked it actually towards the end of the round. He was, um, he was, he was backing up Long, and Long was just looking to hold. I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a, a scrappy fight because uh, the early stage of this fight has been good. Nice clean shots coming in. And I can't understand why Long is just touching that jab where he should be ram rubbing it out into Solis' face. He's only got to turn that shoulder, hasn't he, and lead with that left hand. Yes. And, and Solis has got a lot of problems to get to him. Long seems like he's breathing very heavy. He does, doesn't he? Yes. I mean, it's easy for us to sit here and, and you know, commentate on these guys in there that are doing the work. But at the end of the day... This is not an easy night work. No. Funny enough, I expected more. I expected uh, more from Solis and not so much from Long. As I said right at the beginning of these fights, um, with heavyweights, often styles clash. And, in, in, you know, um, Solis is not doing the work that he would normally do with another fighter. Being so big and awkward, yeah. um, he's, I think he's finding Long hard to handle. Solis with only five fights under his belt, though, he's, he's, he's still in his learning period, and uh, one of the things he definitely needs to learn is to get a bit of head movement there, because if he fights someone of a higher calibre, he could find himself in a lot of trouble. Oh. Oh. Mr Long's calling him in, and uh, I think Solis is happy to oblige. And you can tell Long doesn't like that at all. Julius Long uh, is much more comfortable when he's in the driving seat. As soon as he gets backed up, he seems like he doesn't know what to do. Other than look at his corner for help. Well, I've got to tell you, there's not a lot of height difference between him and his trainer, but having said that, Long is sitting down there, isn't he? <laughs> You give that round to Solis, Rick? I give that round to Solis. Breathing very heavy just after two rounds. Breathing very heavy. I wonder what he's got in the tank. Look at the difference there with Solis. Other than that, Cap, he's relaxed. And for me, Long's game plan has gone all wrong. He needs to start the uh, carry on the way he started, and that's get that left jab in Solis's face like a piston. Not tip tap as he's doing at the moment. He needs to really push that home and get that working. We are live with us here in Germany, wherever you're joining us from around the world. And we are presently in round three of the WVC Latino Championship. And this is between Julius Long from Detroit in the USA and Orlandia Solis, fighting out of Hamburg in Germ Germany, but originally from Cuba. This is a ten-round competition. Welcome all our uh, viewers from Eastside Boxing, Shadow Boxing, Sport All, and Live Fight. We've had a great night's boxing so far. We've had some early stoppages, and to be honest, with the cut that Solis has received here, I thought maybe we had another earlier night here, but he, they seem to have stopped that bleeding at the moment. <laughs> I think what I'm making the question is, is the stamina of uh, Julius Longrick. Certainly the stamina and, and self-confidence. He seems that the self-confidence seems to be draining away from him as the fight goes on. And when both men get into a tussle, it seems that Solis is, comes out the stronger of the two. 
The only thing I don't like that Solis does is he stands off his man. You can't stand off a man so tall and so much bigger than yourself. You're going to get picked off. When Long throws that jab, like a ramrod jab, it's a very powerful weapon. These are good shots coming in from Solis. He put him in a good body shot there to Long. I was surprised. He's getting in, he's getting in, he's getting underneath Long, and he's, he's getting these shots home. I'm going to stick my neck out here and say that Solis will um, put pay to Long in the next couple of rounds, moving in, moving in on me. He just good seems the much more com confident, compact, stronger fighter. I think Long's got the ability, he just hasn't got the self-belief. Well, that's the countdown for the end of round three. I think these rounds are close, Rick, but they're, 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 I think if you rightly said, they're probably just being nicked by Solis at the moment. Solis is doing the cleaner work and coming forward. And it's such a shame that Long doesn't use what he's got in his armoury. I make him right what he just said there, actually. Well, I understood every word of it. Could you just explain what it was he said? I've got a clue. No. Okay, here we go, round four. Might have done a good job on that eye, Rick. Yeah, I'm surprised that um, he's been allowed to go back in with so much vast surrounding the eye. Normally that's wiped away with a towel, but the ref seems comfortable with that. Well, good shots. Good right hand. Yeah. And Long really felt that one. As I said, I think in these next couple of rounds, Solis will take it up a gear, and I don't think Long will be up to um, withstanding it. Why is Julius Long mixing it up like this? Is in he really doesn't have to. But he's being walked down, isn't he? He's being walked down. He's being walked down, and I, I think with um, with with Julius Long, he looks like he defeats himself. He's he's got he, he's working with something, and then he will change and, and move a different direction and put himself in trouble. Standing very square. The big foot with Solis is, is he stands off and he stands he stands still. With, there's no movement, and then that's a, that's something that can be worked on in the gym. Though he's got enough he's got enough other things under his belt. Not other attributes. That's yeah, sure. exactly. Okay. These are good shots. He looks for his way in. Solis, and as soon as he sees that gap, he's in and he's on it. He certainly isn't intimidated by the size of Ju uh, Julius Long. And uh, he looks very comfortable in there at the moment, holding centre and just waiting for his chance to pounce. What I can't understand though why Julius Long isn't isn't sticking that jab out with a bit of power in it and then bringing up uppercuts through the middle. Solis is wide open to him, but I don't think Long fancies the job tonight. He 
certainly hanging his chin out to dry is uh, Mr Long. And I do feel that if Solis puts one on the end of it... And that name certainly suits him. <laughs> Mr Short definitely would have worked with it. Someone uh, with that with that sort of height, you know. I mean, there's a huge difference here. 13 inch difference in height. You've got to get inside. You've got to come up from underneath. The only way you can do it is exactly what Solis is doing: is by throwing unorthodox shots from here, there, and everywhere, just to get something through. But he certainly looks comfortable when he's backing up long, and and, that, and that's when Long's looking for a way out. My mother's always ringside at boxing, she loves it. And Long started off this round with a couple of stiff, heavy jabs, and if he continues that going, that, that's the way forward for him. But no doubt. Mm. He needs to tuck that chin up a bit, does Julius Long. It really is hanging that out there. And I'm, I'm sure that Solis is uh, homing in on that. He won't have to reach for the stars, but I've got to tell you... Body shot. He turned that over nicely, hooked him to the left of the body. Very good shot. Over and right. That's and Long's going to be a for. little bit wobbly when he gets up. And all of a sudden. That was a, club, a clubbing right hand. The inferno could come a tumble. And he's turning away now, not a good sign. He, he obviously uh, he doesn't fancy the, a repeat of that. Still a minute and a half to uh, go to work for Solis, so he's taking his time and picking his shots. Very mature for how many fights he's had, I'll tell you that. Well, as, as I said, Rick, I think he'll have probably had plenty of experience in Cuba as an amateur. Yeah, the Cubans certainly know how to um, bring him forward. Julius Long is trying to do now is to tie Solis up when he's coming in rather than Going get his own mode, maybe. Exactly. He's playing a good game here, Solis. I know he's coming in uh, fairly square on and straight, but it's obviously another good the shot. It's the way he feels he can get underneath these and then bring his shots up. I mean, he's, he's, that's paying dividends, isn't it? Once he's closed him up, he's on him like that. He sees yeah. the space. Solis is a very heavy hitter. You can see that. to do something he's going to have to do it now because uh, we've got Solis here stretching ahead that would have been a 10-8 round with that knockdown here it is right hand clubbing right hand hit him on top of the head but had the desired effect you gotta watch him coming in. You gotta watch him coming in with the, 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 the body shot. You gotta watch him. You slide back. 
Okay, this is round six coming up, and you're live with us from Germany, seconds out. Association with Jalapo. And as long as trainer saying um, to get Sully says he's coming in, and he is coming in at all angles, but easier said than done. If you're just joining us, this is Julius Long against uh, Odlania Solis for the WBC Latino Championship, and this is over 10 rounds. We're here live from Germany. Quick! Solis was going to do have a quicker night's work than this, uh, Rick. I'm not saying it's he's not going to finish this, but I just felt from the previous fight, commentated on that he he has uh, quite an ability, this guy. But obviously, as you rightly said, styles clash, and certainly with this height advantage, I think anyone would find an amount of difficulty. I think Solis is going to learn a lot from this fight, and one of the things he will learn, he he must uh, bob and weave to get him rather than just walk on. I still don't see the fight going much longer, though. I think before Solis gets to him and uh, puts pay to long. That was a good combination of shots. That uh, was, and that less long, a little bit wobbly. There. He did, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought I noticed that myself. All in all, though, this has been a good heavyweight fight. Both men prepared to give and take. Yep. I'd like to see Solis move up a gear now and start to pile the pressure on Long as he, rather than just stand off him and go through the motions. I think uh, Long is ready to go. Interesting to see these Americans now prepared to travel to Europe to take these fights. Very much the other way around, wasn't it, until, the, until recently? Yeah. May have something to do with the dollar, who knows? certainly staunched that bleeding and it looked like a bad cut to me so the crowd seem like they're enjoying it as much as we are I think this is a good exciting fight and uh, you know anything could happen here who do you give that round to Rick? Uh, once again to Solis I think he's, he's very much in the driving seat and, and commanding this fight and playing it the way he wants to play it. The only thing that's gone wrong for him is obviously the cut. Well, so far, Rick, you've given every round to Solis. Uh, I've given one even in actual fact. Yeah. But I think we both agree that uh, Solis is well ahead here on points yeah. at the moment. And the only way Long's going to do anything about it at this stage is, is, is really he's got to start looking for a stoppage. I, actually, I gave, the, I gave the first round to Long. I liked the first round. He was, he, his game plan was good when he was sticking behind that stiff jab and bringing up the uppercuts. And that's when he was most effective. OK, well, that's one I've got, got down as even in actual fact. So we're, we're pretty much on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Long getting a little bit frustrated there, and well, he's been heavy breathing really from the first round. And I've got to be honest with you, I didn't expect to see him still standing here at this stage. But he is, and I tell you yeah. what, he's making a bigger effort here in this round. He is. I think he must have heard our commentary because he's he actually uh, come out here with a bit of. 
This may be a do or die, though. He may be making a, a big effort while he's got a bit of strength in him. I don't yep. know. Let's see what happens out how the last end of this round works out. He's certainly no pushover, that's for sure. Good uppercut. Right. Came up yeah. between the guard of Solis. And I'm surprised I haven't seen more of that shot tonight. Because Solis is wide open for it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit ambitious, that one. This has been a great night's boxing from Germany. Every fight has been exciting so far. We've had stoppages. And we're now, oh, round seven of the uh, WBC Latino Championship between Julius Long and Adlania Solis, if you're joining us. Good shot. And again, he's caught him twice now with the right hand. As I said, Paul, as the rounds go on, he seems like he gradually fades and then Solis comes into his own. I'd, I'd like to see Solis go up a gear, though. I think he, he, he may be getting in the rounds just to... Um, I, I think, to actually, the reason that Solis is so static in front of him, Rick, is he's, because he, he has to wait. He has to wait for, for Long to move in, see yeah. the gap, and then, and then take the shots. Yeah. Countdown for the end of round seven. Some good work towards the end of that from Solis, Rick, yeah. but I, I don't know. I, I, I think the better work there was certainly at the beginning, more endeavour by Long. Well, how did you see that? I saw that round pretty even, actually, and uh, Long may have even nicked that round. Um, it's turning into a good fight. Long's one of these fighters who um, looks like he isn't enjoying himself out there a lot of the time and then fights in spurts. And when he does fight in spurts, he, he can be very dangerous. That cut's not in the, the ideal place, but at least it's just under the bone. And the corner men look like they're doing a good job with that there anyway. Okay, here we go. This is round eight of ten. He's working away with his one two. Well, Long's proved me wrong. He's, he's still there and about. And uh, I, I thought Solis would have got the job over and done with by now. So, Well, I do agree with you on that. Thank you. I do feel, though, at any time, if Solis, Solis explodes, it could be all over. I don't know if he gave him a kiss then, Julius Long, or whether he was just whispering something in his ear. I think, I think, I think Long is trying to taunt Solis. I've caught him a few times saying things when they've been in the clinch, but are, um, I don't think that's such a good idea. There's a clash of heads there. They've got to be careful with those heads. Yeah. The referee needs to look close and look at that. There's no reason for a clash of heads, I've got to tell you. No. He's complaining, Long, and to be honest with you, I think Long was a guilty party. Gotta be pleased with that breather. Box 
boxing is definitely on a resurgence at the moment. And now with the ability to watch it on seconds out. On the web, World Wide Web. That can do nothing but good for the sport. Nice solid jab there from Long. And Long looks like to me he's starting to enjoy the job, which is uh, very interesting. He's making for a very interesting heavyweight fight. Great combination from good, Solis. Good attack, good and, attack. And Long just calls him on. Well, he rode that attack out, but the, the, some of those shots did land home. No question about that. Fancies himself for the end of that round. I'm not so sure the judges will be seeing it quite the same way. And he looks like he's refused this though. He's uh, he seems comfortable in what he's doing. Who'd you give that round to, Rick? Do you know it was very close, but I, I, I think Long might have nicked it. You might be right, actually. I, I, you know, that, that being the case, we've got the last two rounds now going to long. Still got a long way to go. Forgetting that round uh, five, he was uh, lying on the canvas. And the crowd really enjoying this one. As I hope you are at home. Finnland, Punktrichter, wertet den Kampf 80 zu 72 für Solis. Petrak Alexic aus Montenegro wertet diesen Kampf 80 zu 71 Solis. Und Mike Griffin aus Kanada wertet den Kampf ebenfalls mit 80 zu 71 für Solis und damit Champion WBC Latino Champion und weiterhin ungeschlagen von Arena Box Promotion Und Lanier, Solis. Well, there we are, Rick. As we suspected. I knew we'd get something right tonight. Yeah, he, he's, he's, his work was much cleaner. and um, But I certainly would say um, Long never come down to lay down tonight. He come down to fight and uh, put up a good show. Very good fight. He made a good account of himself, no doubt about that. 